hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss about default get function in Odoo. from the name itself you can understand that it's default get something related with default values or a field suppose if i go to the hospital management module so if i go to hospital menu and then to the appointments currently you can see if i take the if i open a form you can see there is no default values other than state for patient it's empty age is zero let's ignore date empty date time empty all the fields are empty so let's take a case where we have to set default value for the fields suppose if you need to set the default patient as what do means what will you do that cases we are going to discuss in this video using default underscore get function in Odoo. so if i go to the pycharm and if i search inside the code function path you can see i have already made such a default get you can see a lot of existence in different modules of Odoo. you can see a lot of examples in Odoo. so there is no necessary to use the default function itself other than default get function if i go to module custom and if i take to one hospital and if i take the corresponding model that is appointment.py here we can other than default get function you can just call set the default value using default key so if i search that default function path so i think better to come back that after using the default get function first of all i will go with the default get function and then after that i will explain using the default key so let me copy an existing sample from here so I'm just not copying existing sample i just get that template so i'll just paste the copied function here and i'll just remove the unnecessary lines that is not necessary for me so default get self comma fields and this super so I'll copy the class name where is the function yes so yeah there is nothing you have to do just at ap model diff default get self comma fields while so anything you can give here then us equal to type super then select the bottom one okay then here inside you have to specify this parameter that is fields you can give it inside the bracket and then return sorry return us so this is the default syntax of default get function at a model diff default get self comma fields plus equal to super of that function and if i put the print here print test let's see whether the function is getting executed or not so i have just added a function and let's see what happens if we load the form again so currently i just close this form Okay, it's loading okay fine now i'll go to the pycharm and i'll just clear the log entries and if i open the form view again you can see what happens in the log you can see test is coming so this function is getting executed while we open the corresponding form then here what we will do is that we are going to set default value for the field patient so if i activate the developer mode so i'll go to the settings sorry i think better to activate from here from the url we got equal to to either you can activate from the url or you can go to the settings and then activate the debug mode so the corresponding field name is patient underscore id so what i am going to do is that currently if we open the form you can see the patient id patient field is coming as empty but what we need is that this has to be selected by default so that is what we are going to do in this video so the field name is patient id so we can set the function sorry and after the print plus of patient id we have to be like this ratio of patient id equal to we have to set which value has to be come into that field so right now i'll just go to the patient's record and accordingly i'm going to give the value so if i take the auto image this is the patient record you can see the id of this record is view metadata you can see id equal to one so i'll just copy this id and i'll give it here so earlier when we have taken the appointment form view the patient was not coming by default so using the default get function we have set the patient id equal to one as default so now let's see what happens if we take the appointments view so i'll just okay if i click on create you can see by default the patient is coming as four roommates so this is how you can set the default value for a field using using default get function so suppose if i need to set something in the registration node the field is nodes so i'll add it here itself 
nots so i can add something as it is a character field i have to pass a string and i can subscribe our channel so i can just pass in node and i will just restart the service as i have made changes inside the python so that's done so if i just go back here and i'll come back to the form again and let's see okay click on create you can see the registration note is also coming by default so using the default built function the advantage is that we can set multiple for multiple fields we can set the default values using the default get function we can set default value for multiple fields at a time so the another option is that if you search inside the code along with the field definition uh, and I'm no need to go to another form we have the same here itself if you check here you can see this is the state button that we have defined along with the field we have specified default equal to draft this key also you can just call for some functions directly from here default they can do you can give a function name and return the value from those function so this is how you can use default get function so if you have any queries you can just ping us directly and ask us so that's all about this video if you like the video please like and subscribe the channel and also you can refer this to your colleagues thank you